Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Wang. Usually when I want to check light intensity, whenever I review a printer, I would use this light meter. But it is not the most accurate way because actually I need to use UV light meter. But back then, UV light meter is quite expensive and I'm not sure which UV type the tool is measuring because there is UVA, B, and C. And now, Cheetah Box released this UV light meter that is quite affordable and I'm sure it measured the correct UV type for resin printing. Now let's see what's inside this box. This is the thank you card, Chi2 system. You could pause for a moment if you want to read all the manual guide. This is what you place on the screen of your printer. And you could use power bank to power this UV light meter. And now this is the extend board. Wait, wait, extend board. If your power range is over, yada yada. Okay, I don't think I will need to use this right now. This is the ring for the extend board. Okay, we have a type C converter. Tutor box system UV light meter. Yes, this is the correct UV type. The power range is from 0 to 50,000 microwatts per centimeter square. And for the current attenuation, 10,000 hours. Okay, I don't know why. <laughs> I have my power bank here. Let's turn it on. Okay, it's turned on automatically. The number is not changing when I have the... <laughs> what does it call? <laughs> I cannot find but let's call it the head when I face the head to my room light the number is not changing at all and this is very good compared to my light meter now let's have a quick test I will set it to 30 seconds It seems that my weak spot is over here. Okay, it's working very good. This tool might be quite essential for you resin printer enthusiasts out there because 1. It is useful for exposure calibration. The UV light intensity is not uniform across the screen. You could see on my previous test, my weak point is over here. With this tool, you could measure the weak point and I suggest that is where you want to place your exposure calibration model. Most people would place the exposure right in the middle. And in my case, the weak spot is over here. So by the moment I start a real print, I will have fail most likely in this area here because of underexpose. So this is where I would place my exposure calibration model whenever I calibrate for a new resin. But one thing to note, whenever you replace a new screen or a new LED panel, the weak point might also be changed so you have to measure it again. And reason number two, UV LED also could become weak over time. Like what my friend experienced here with his printer, suddenly no matter what exposure he used, all of his print just fell and the result is messy blob of fail. And he sent me his printer and I checked it with this UV light meter. We can confirm the issue is the UV light getting weak and need replacement. Let me show you the test. You could see mine is at 1.8, around 2. And his, you, could, you can clearly tell it is dimmer. Only 1.1, 1 1.0, 1 1.2. So I guess it is time for him to replace his UV LED panel. Now, if you own two printer of the same brand and type, it is easy to tell if a UV LED is starting to getting weak because you could see uh, it is dimmer compared to the other. But if you only own one printer, you could measure it when you first buy it and then you could keep the data and you could check over time if the UV intensity is getting weaker. 
and that is why I said this tool is quite essential for resin printer enthusiasts. And for reason number three, let's say you own several printers from different type of brands and you have good settings on particular resin on printer A and you want to use the resin on printer B. You could measure the weak spot UV power of printer A. Let's say it, the result is 2 milliwatt per centimeter square and compared to printer B, let's say it is 1.5 milliwatt per centimeter square sorry 1.5 milliwatt per centimeter square then you could tell printer b uv power is 25 percent weaker compared to printer a and with some calculation you can get the exposure time for the resin on printer b but keep in mind different printer have different build quality and etc but at least you could get the closest exposure time as starter rather than waste a lot of time and resin by calibrating from scratch. And on the last note, the panel here is made of plastic and the head here is from metal. It is quite heavy, so be careful and do not slam the head on your printer screen. If you like what you've been watching so far, kindly like this video and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my channel directly, you could check my Patreon link in video description. I have monthly release for 3D printable models. Now let's do something fun. I mostly use frozen printer now and if you have different printer brands and you have this UV light meter, Please check the UV power and kindly let me know the result on your printer. And it would be a good of collective database for every printer UV power out there. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video. It seems like... <laughs> <laughs>